Uh oh, Aussie retailers may already be in recession. The miner that struck gold. And the RBA under fire, not from rate hikes, but from the cost of a swanky lunch. Trading Up, a collaboration by The West Australian and Graffa. We start with the word of the day, recession. The economy isn't technically in one yet, but economists say retailers are definitely going backwards. Deloitte says retail sales growth has been falling for more than six months. Clearly interest rates are beginning to bite for everyone except the RBA. The suits of the RBA spent nearly 25 grand to host some of Perth's top business leaders at an exclusive dinner when its board met in the city last month. Really? Boom! Appetit! Oh, Mexican food! My favorite. Well, let's not just sit here with our tummies rumbling. Everybody dig in. Don't mind if I do, Lillian. The event at Fraser's Kings Park also included a 4.3k drinks tab and food for 140 guests, meaning the cost for each person was just over $176. That was just before they hiked interest rates for the rest of us back in early May. So let's spin the wheel on whether inflation is coming down soon. Well, according to Australia's biggest construction materials company, Borrell, inflation is hanging around at least a year. <laughs> to add to the confusion, US investment whale Kathy Wood reckons we might even see global deflation next year. The outspoken investor, whose ARK investment firm oversees $10 billion in funds, told a Sydney banking forum today that the world could experience negative inflation if things continue. Deflation occurs when the inflation rate falls below 0%. That might seem good now, but over time it reduces the value of currencies like our Aussie dollar, so that's not good really. Despite all the doom and gloom about the economy, many of us still have a job. But apparently Aussies are being less productive at work than any time in the last 45 years. Economists at CBA say labour productivity figures are the worst since records began in 1978. Still to come, how much for a slice of Aussie pizza? And the gold miner that won big today. Stay tuned. On to the markets now, and some people are still making money, like the guys at Sports Hero, who take out Graffa's Hat Trick Award today. The Brisbane-based software company, which has developed an interactive sports betting platform, has seen its share rise three days in a row this week. The shares are up 13% since Monday. So how much for a slice of pizza in Australia? No one knows. Pizza Hut Australia was sold today for an undisclosed sum. There are 260 Pizza Huts in Australia, and the Australian arm was sold to US franchise giant Flynn Restaurant Group. And finally, let's end on a positive note with that gold mining winner, Iceni Gold. The WA-based miner struck gold, literally. It found high-grade gold at its Everly Well project in WA today. Iceni's share price took off as a result, up more than 50% on the news. You can find more business news content on thewest.com.au or to see all the data and insights behind this video, check out graffa.com or download our app from the App Store. Thanks for joining me on this special episode of Trading Up. I'm Sarah Hewen, see you next time.